day and welcome to the residence of Mrs. Fausta Yusuf, the mother of newly decorated Commonwealth Bronze Medalist Islamia Yusuf here in Nokini, Oshun State. Islamia Adebukola Yusuf recently won the bronze medal in the weightlifting event at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, United Kingdom. She was the fourth athlete to win medal in the competition. Islamia had clinched bronze in a 64 kg weightlifting category after a combined lift of 212 kg. In the snatch, the 19 year old lifted 93 kg and in the clean and jack, she lifted 113 kg, 116 kg, 119 kg with a total of 212 kg. She then finished third behind Mo Charon of Canada and Cochrane Sierra of Australia, who finished in first and second positions respectively. The Ernie Oshun-born teenage weightlifter was born to Mr. and Mrs. Yusuf from Ajiboros Compound in Ernie Oshun in 2003. As an international athlete, she has represented Nigeria in various competitions, especially in the weightlifting category after making her debut at the 2017 National Games in Ilori, Kwara State. At her debut at the 2017 National Games in Ilori, she won three gold medals, which caught the attention of the Nigeria Weightlifting Federation. <laughs> This made her to be invited for the African Youth and Junior Championship trial. She then participated at the 2017 African Youth and Junior Championship in Entebbe, Uganda, where she coasted on three gold medals. At the African Junior Championship in Egypt in the same 2018, she bagged one gold and two silver medals. She also represented Nigeria at the 2018 African Youth and Junior Weightlifting Championship, where she won one gold and two silver. At the 2018 African Youth Games in Nigeria, she also won two gold and one silver medals. At the 2018 Youth Olympics in Buenos Aires, Argentina, Yusuf finished fourth and described the event as a medium for her to improve. She qualified for the 2022 Commonwealth Games after winning a gold medal at the African Weightlifting Championship in Mauritius this year. She emerged the best female lifter at the Mauritius International Weightlifting Open Championship in 2022 in February. Together with Osijo Taiwo Mary, Islami had helped Team Nigeria win two gold medals at the event where they competed in the 64 kg women category with a total lift of 211 kg in the snatch and jack. This helped increase the slots of Nigeria at the 2022 Commonwealth Games. Speaking with newsmen, Islamia described how she started weightlifting in 2014 and now she was encouraged by her parents and coaches. I set up my early career in representing the state in 2017 National Youth Sports Festival in Ilori when I won, where I won three gold medal. After that, I went to Ibadan, Southwest competition. I won three gold medal. In, in Abuja 2018, National, National Sports Festival 2018, I won three bronze. In Abuja and um, Edo 2020, I won three silver. Speaking about the bronze she won at the 2022 Commonwealth Games, she said she had hoped to win gold, but she was pleased to come third in her category after competing with best and experienced 12 athletes in the world. My 
my target was to win gold medal for the country but I won a bronze medal for for the country ball. I need to I have to thank God for everything. One of the one of those I competed with has already competed in Tokyo last year. So I knew and she she was also a champion then. She won a gold medal. For competing with them, I think it was a such a harsh one for competing with the Olympic medalist. So I think I tried my best out of twelve athletes in my category. I won a bronze medal. What about those others that didn't even win? Islami had appreciated God, our family, the state government of Oshun, and our coaches, Adi Emiru Fosa and Udogu, who helped shape our career. My appreciation goes to Almighty God for supporting me, my parents, my siblings, my friends, my fans, my coaches, to the state government, to everybody that supports me, that encourages me to do better. I give thanks to them. Islami had also spoke about how our preparations for the upcoming events at the National Sport Festival. So com there are so many competitions ahead of me. Um, all African Games in Ghana. I think there is World Championship too. So many competitions ahead. The facility we are using now, we are not good. I'm not okay by it at all, at all. Some of these weights have been already been stolen. They've stolen our weights. We are only using the facility is not good enough. The equipment they are so bad. Like I can't even not even talk of managing it. It's so bad. Like they've stolen the weights there. We have no gym, no well equipped gym, no nothing at all. So I need the support from the state government to provide us well equipped gym and all other things. My first competition was in Uganda, 2017, where I won three gold medal in the 53 category, women category. And after that, in Egypt, I won two silver, one gold. In Nigeria, I won two gold, one silver. In Youth Olympic in Argentina, I didn't do better. I, I was placed in fourth position. And after that, in Mauritius, I won gold medal there. And after Mauritius, 2022, and to this Commonwealth in Birmingham, I won gold medal. What about the local competition, the national youth game, oh. and of course the national sport festival? The I set up my early career in representing the states in 2017 national youth sport festival in Ilori, when I won where I won three gold medal. After that, I went to Ibadan, Southwest competition. I won three gold medal. In in Abuja 2018 national national sports festival 2018, I won three bronze. In Abuja um, Edo 2020, I won three silver. In a chat with her mother, Mrs. Fausa Tusuf, a widow who says a local delicacy, Fufu at Okine, state of Oshun, she explained that she and her late husband initially wanted to discourage Islamiyat from weightlifting, thinking it was a game for the males. She said they later supported her in this career after her coach visited them to convince that Islamiyat would become a star in the game. <laughs> I want a more walk with your near. You will make pay your lee. Wool of one spot to tea, I want see. Once it's all for me, you may not monitor along, tell them by your death. I'm making most of one daddy and a banner. Daddy a while, I am banner. Once you love by daddy, the masala you feel. Daddy did not see me join that. You know, that's a dwarf. Tell me, my son, 
Modi Sugab 2020 Nera. Kuli e pa na mo ri kan meta 50 naira ni an ka fun ati kuli na kuli na mo ka mefa 50 naira an ta te te naira she said the belief of people was that the family is rich after watching Slamia on the podium, but they still live a modest lifestyle. Mrs. Yusuf said she and the children left behind by her late husband, Mr. Yusuf, are still living in the uncompleted building at Okini, where she produces fufu and sells granite, kule kule, and sugar. You see, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you you know, you know, you she she appreciated the state government, the Sports Council and the Ocean Progressives Union, our coaches, among others, for her efforts. She also hoped that the state and federal government, including the corporate individuals, will assist them through Islamia to change their lives for better. A group of ladies of Enyoshun under the auspices of Moje Queens, who also paid a visit to their residence in Okini, described Islamiyat as an ambassador of the town and the state and thanked people of the town for their prayers and support for Islamiyat. She has made us proud and uh, we feel so much elated and we have to give her all the total support we're supposed to give her. As one of us, Herimoje Koi, she's our ambassador. I will say a big congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Your moral support, your financial support, we really appreciate you. Thank you everybody. Thank you so much. Our dear coach who has been coaching us since. We really appreciate you. The state government, we appreciate you. Area Ocean Progressive Union, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Islami Atu is currently a student of physical and health education at Lagos State University, Lasu, attended St. James Grammar School and finished her SSC at the Oshubu Grammar School in 2017. She had represented Oshun at the National Youth Games and the National Sports Festival with several gold, silver and bronze medals. <laughs> Just like a Yoruba popular saying that Ini Koko Dudu Lekofun Futin Jade, you could see the transformation of Islamia Yusuf from grass to grace. We hope other women like Mrs. Foster Yusuf, the mother of Islamia Yusuf, will learn from this and encourage their children who are talented in one area of sport or the other because, because sport is now a lucrative profession. I am Tajdin Amodu reporting. <laughs>